Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video. It's a brand new episode of Grand Arena 3v3. This is round two of week three. And as you guys may have seen, I've had a pretty bad run of form. Uh, just not Things just haven't been going well for me, basically. Uh, so I'm really hopeful that today's round could be a, a step up from what I've been doing in the past, obviously. But that wouldn't be too difficult to beat my last round, at least. But my opponent today is Dr. Machukismo. Dr. Machukismo. I say it like that. And they are from the guild Imperi Imperio Mandaloriano Netra. I faced quite a few uh, people from this guild, at least recently. The name uh, springs to mind. And they have 11 million GP, so very similar amount of GP to me. Uh, there's no Leia today, which is fantastic. I don't have to lose my mind facing her. But without further ado, obviously, if you do enjoy this, a like and comment is always much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that stuff button down below. And let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so as you can see, we do have some GLs to beat on the board. Like I mentioned, no layer, but we do have a Malgus as well in the bottom. I think Jabba is the only Galactic Legend down here. Then we do have some interesting teams. There is a Grand Inquisitor, a fifth brother, and eighth brother, but they do have Reaver. So I'm kind of thinking that there might be a Reaver team in the back with like seventh sister and second sister or something like that, or they're just using that on offense. Um, because I do believe ninth sister is with the LV in the north. That was only leave second, seventh. I uh, have an Afro team. Obviously, the Jabba, a Malgus team with Malak and Sith Assassin, and then a Dash Quill IG 11. So, things are looking a bit better today compared to yesterday's round. Well, I should say two days ago, but I think we're going to just start off by probably killing the Jabba first. Okay, this is the deck one that they have. A bit of extra defense, protection up, and stuff. Luckily, no buffs, but you have 57% health. That's pretty nuts. And this is Dayquan I'm taking. Didn't think I was going to need this anywhere else. And I do hope that means we could obviously did need to use what here. So I'm fully expecting the other two to die on the sides just to thermal damage probably more than anything. If uh, if you know if my first order officer could have had a go before he died, that would have been brilliant. <laughs> Right, buff immunity, that's great. Now we can get rid of that taunt. Uh, so there's siphon away on Chrysanthemum. Some more siphon stacks on stunned enemies. One more siphoning. Tickle siphoning? Mine's gone blank. He's cool, Leia. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Uh, basic and blinded. Get the buffs up as well, which is great. Now we can siphon. The siphon for AOE. By first order stormtrooper, thank you for your help. Um, let's go for a poke first, then we'll go to ultimate after we get after this turn. There we go. Go to ultimate. Fumbling my words as usual. And poke again. Then we'll siphon. Go for another poke. There goes Kassantan. I poke again. That blind is a bit annoying, but. Missed that time, that's good. And poke. 248k, didn't die, wow. Come on. All right, go to ultimate. <laughs> that should kill him. There we go. For a 60 banner win, which is awful banners, but we needed that. Okay, good. We survived. 
this is the day con they have no extra health so that's why i was a bit more positive that jk wouldn't have died at the beginning there obviously no sith the uh, marauder to come in and just wipe me out as well which is quite nice right let's use that first and i'm gonna have to hit malik unfortunately uh yeah we could do that i suppose Probably best to trigger his bonus turns now while everyone's got full health. No full protection even. There's some foresight for that stacking. I'll show my deck on that's what I'm taking. The foresight stacking damage. Okay, there's one bonus turn triggered. On Malik. Uh, let's go all in on Malgus. Might even be able to kill Malgus first. Ah, uh, what? Actually, no, let's just see if we can kill Malgus. There we go. Uh, maybe one shot Sith Assassin. Ah. Uh, disappointed. Go for a stun. The basic there. Need to heal up Mace before we go after Malak. Almost. And he's going to steal all my banners. You bugger. They're alive for a bit longer. Uh, you call him Hermit. Even get some banners on him. Basic. Done again. Nice. Ah, oh, come on. That should be four banners, which it is. Okay, good. Okay, Afra taking Hux with first or type out Omicron, of course, with red. This deck one they have, so they have no extra survivability. Obviously, apart from that protection up rule, which we're going to dispel anyway. Uh, but I'm just taking the deck one with a decent amount of crit damage because obviously you don't need any crit chance or anything. Because with advantage, they should crit. Yes, he is dead. Um, I'm just going to give everyone advantage again. Don't kill my. Okay. Uh, we will just do this actually. I will dispel that stuff on first of all the TIE pilots. That should be yeah, 56. Missed those protection banners, unfortunately, on first of all TIE pilot, but I'll take that. Alright, Alacron versus this Grand Inquisitor team. This is the deck one they have. Buffs on the basic. I'm taking Alacron. Of course, right, we'll just go straight for Grand Inquisitor. We have no taunts to worry about at all. Probably could have targeted someone else there for a stun, but... I do really like Alacron. I think it's great. There we go. 57 banners. Last but not least, for this zone, I'm taking... DLS versus this dash team. We'll reduce the term to new. Stun IG. Now let's call in Trupio. Kill Dash, probably. There we go. Now we can kill Quill, maybe. And A V. Stun him again. Do that to get some more banners. I think we're probably going to get 55 here. Yeah, which we are. And that at least opens up the back wall so we can see what we have back there. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Have a look. Okay, see it. There's the Reaver I thought might have been on the back wall. I'm assuming that's Taran there. See it. Okay, Finn, sorry. Yeah. Aaron team, Qui-Gon Jinn, and a CLS Tupio squad. So 
I think we're probably going to make our start up on the north side, which I'll actually show you now because I haven't showed that yet. Probably deal with those Galactic Legends first, and we'll kind of just flip between both zones, uh, depending on what I think I'm going to use counters wise. Elvian Ray on the. Oh, this is the Salty Hondo um, L3 team that I've seen yet again. I'm actually intrigued whether any any of you have set, uh, that are watching this obviously have set this team before. If you have, it would be quite nice to know how much of a success rate you've had with it actually getting holds. Uh, then we do have a Quagran Jin, not Quagran Jin. I plan on using Quagran Jin versus Rex, that's why I said it. Uh, and then Ray, Ben, Cal, a LV, Maul, and Night Sister, and then a Darth Revan, Bastler, and Set Squad. So. Probably going to start off with the LV, I think. Okay, this is the base one that they have. They have stacking defense, which is really annoying. Um, I'm actually planning on deleting Ninth Sister first. This is the deck run I'm taking. So let's give. Oh, you had to go for Cat first as well, didn't you? Reset cooldowns and everything. Not annoying at all. Right, should we have to flip buffs at least? Uh, debuffs even. Yeah. Actually, kind of tempted to wait. A full ultimate, just go for more. Yeah, let's wait a little bit. If we even get to full, ah, ninety-five percent. Oh, about to cough. <laughs> Why'd you have to go for cat again? It's so annoying. <laughs> Just increased her uh, cooldowns yet again. Oh, okay, or not. I was because of the she had never mind. We're actually getting our cooldown back again, even though he did increase it. Let's get another shirt onto my sister. Attempt to pass it to General Navy, but I don't think I'm going to. Oh, come on. How are you still alive? Uh oh. Yikes. Oh, we just had Savior as well. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, wow. That was a massive hit. 250k, I think. We're going to lose our General Kenobi. That's fine, though, as long as the other two survive. Uh, actually, let's try and keep him alive. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Yikes. My R5 cat is not doing too well against this LV. Yeah, nice big hit there again. But Lord Vader is doing a lot of damage right now. Come on, we need... Oh, there we go. Yeah, not, that's not going to be great banners, but I'm happy with the one shot there. Well, the textures on this map look a bit weird. Uh, taking Dark Hello, of course, <laughs> versus Ray. Pretty standard, really, at this point. Um, I don't know what other counters I can actually do consistently, but I probably shouldn't have said that because I probably might have just jinxed myself, but we shall see.
Be damaged really too on Ray. You do have debuffs, right? Okay, good. Actually, everyone knocked down. That's brilliant. I need Ray to take a turn, please. Ah, oh, you. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Ray doesn't even need to go into ultimate. <laughs> uh, now we just got. A... If I could do. Yeah, if I do basic. And then I. Oh, no. Yeah, if I throw the rock with Star Card, I can get four banners. I can do it. There we go. Now let's pull down the Star Destroyer, even, even though it's got to do nothing. But we do get full banners, which is nice. Now, if Cal could take a turn any time now, that would be brilliant. There we go. Nice and easy for a 57. For once versus Darth Revan. This is the deck on they have. This is what I'm taking just extra offense and armor pen, basically, that's all I need. Yeah, nice, Darth Revan. You're going to die to a counter attack now. <laughs> but A58. Oh, we actually get to start. Well, that works, I suppose. Get offense up. Uh, I'm not going to risk the sacrifice popping, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, then we can probably just double tap basic. Oh, we'll just single tap basic for A55. Okay, taking C. And what's first is this reefer like we did in a previous round. This should be a bit easier um, without Grand Inquisitor there. So I'm going to link up Reaver and 7th like we did last time. Obviously 7th uh, attacking out of turn all the time is going to really ramp up our ultimate a bit quicker. Fine. Just basic. Thank you for playing what? Yikes, I don't actually like the look of this. <laughs> They're hitting me harder than I thought they would. Alright, let's get to ultimate. Hopefully survive. Don't you dare, second sister. Don't, please. Oh my god. She's not doing so much damage now because of the... Oh my, we need the shock to land, please. Thank you. I know she gets more damage when uh, Inquisitors die. Or maybe should have relinked and then zapped second sister. Oh my god, that was scarily close, that. How are you not dead? There we go. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, I was trying to get some fear on the board, I suppose. Now we're just basic. We'll show you data bonds though. This is what they're taking. Lots of extra defense, but no stacking defense on level six, which is nice. And this is data I'm taking. I took in my Seacron. I was planning on keeping that because I do actually have Taron on offense. 
But I don't think I'm actually going to use him anyway because I don't think I need to. Um, so we shall see. With quite a lot to use him, I just forgot to put him back on defense after the last round. Okay then, well we didn't need Bassler anyway. Let's get fear on everyone. Now leap Taran. Still didn't kill him. There we go. timing with that because they could have gone after Darth Revan. I would have been slightly annoyed if that happened. We should be okay, even with Bastler gone. Goodbye, Seer. There we go, 54. Slightly annoying that Bastler died, but it is what it is. You can't really predict things with Datacons and stuff at the moment, so I shall probably take a 54. Kind of wanted Han to redeem him, well, this team to redeem themselves after the last fight, so taking them in against this PLS team. Why did he take, like, no damage? I mean, I've got 58% crit damage, 204% armor pen. What? Don't steal me manners. Let's get a daze then. Punch him in the face. There we go, 4A56. Okay, Jamal versus uh, Quagon. Just so we can get rid of that Omicron boost. We can make things a bit easier for ourselves. Probably could one shot with Quagon. Yeah, there we go. Uh this I don't know, be doing too much. Fine then. Be annoying. Or a fifty-eight. Oh, we actually got the protection banners there as well, which is nice. I don't know why it's been so jittery. Hopefully the gameplay's not being jittery. Oh, okay, well. Wasn't expecting Grand Quest to just one shot. Been like that, to be honest. Uh, basic. Oh, okay, well. 57! I do not trust Afra. I was actually planning on taking Afra against this, but I do not trust that at all. So going with something a bit more solid, but still could go very wrong. Okay, you're under stun. After. Then we'll just kill level three if we can. Okay, there's the bare parts gone. Bit annoying that we don't have access to our echo at the moment to get rid of those buffs. I still can't get rid of them. A we then. And basic. And we can strip those buffs. Let's put buff immunity on Hondo. Hope I'm getting stealth with the VIP thing. Ooh. Come on, game. Chill out. Or internet, I should say. Am I showing Datacrons? I don't know if I have. This is what they're taking. This is what I took. Just my Datacron, which I normally take a five anyway.
go. Just have to wait for the buff immunity again. We can strip that now. Okay. And basics finish for a 57. And now we can see what's on the fleet. And that is going to be the last thing we need to do. What's our score looking like? 1623. Good score. Um, but no, my luck. I am probably going to do awful on fleets. Oh. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do against these because I have no idea. I was expecting Leviathan. I didn't get it. And I don't really know. So we'll come back to this in a bit and see what I'm going to do plan wise. Sorry, I'm really concentrating right now. <laughs> uh, do I just go for a big hit? Does this do more damage if they have? Do 50% more damage. Hmm. Yes. Really? No way. Oh no. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have used my stun. I mean... No way. How did that go so wrong at the beginning and then Tide Defender just carries that? That's ridiculous. Such a good ship. But yeah, awful banners though. 64, that's really bad. Okay. Well, I think I want to go speed up first. If I could have some assists, that'd be fantastic. Okay, you gone at least. No, no, no. Leave my wire wing alone, please. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. Right, bomber. In you come. Get rid of all those buffs, please. I'm allowed to have them. If why we could just drop the um field disruption, whatever it's called, off them, that'd be great. Was it like? Oh, okay, I was supposed to say, how long does it last for?
give the bonus turn over to land unfortunately yeah that's you gone Please kill him. There we go. Or oh, eight, I should say, for a 74. And now we've just got one more fleet left. And we're done. I'm sorry if the gameplay is appearing laggy. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if it's an inter internet problem or... Blue Stacks thing. I did reset my router earlier on, but it didn't seem to do anything. All right, let's go all in on Anakin then. You're gonna die to this AWE. Stop lagging. I know fleets is worse for lagging, at least on blue stacks. Um Come on, that kill uh this should actually kill her. Get rid of Y Wing next. Hey, we might kill Y Wing. It does. No! My banners! Okay. 73 okay that's a one shot across the board <sighs> finally it feels like ages since i did the last time but um i'm predicting end score maybe 20 we did drop those six, 10 banners 20 35 i'm gonna say my prediction oh wow okay <laughs> i was way up that's a lot higher than i was expecting i just was thinking about all the teams that i've done where i've actually not got as many banners as i probably could have done obviously lost like bastard shine and then SOK versus Jabba wasn't good banners, but 2053, I'll quite happily take that. And I'm just pleased we managed to get a nice clean one shot across the board. No silly counters going wrong or anything like that. Uh, I do feel a lot better after my last two rounds didn't particularly go very well. So we should leave it like that. And obviously we'll come back to this later on once my opponent's done their attacks. And we should see how they did. So I shall catch you in a bit. Okay, so I am back later on. As you can see, I have managed to pull off a nice win for once, which has been a long time coming after the absolute disastrous runs that I've been having uh, in the last couple of rounds. But my south wall did brilliantly for me. My Jabba got one shot, I believe. Yeah, Jabba got one shot at the bottom, but then my LV and my Ray team both held. So that obviously meant that my opponent probably wasn't able to get the, the full clear or able to beat my total banner score. So I am obviously ecstatic because I do kind of need the crystals. Um, obviously, getting closer to that layer unlock um, and it really helps obviously getting those Relic 7s up and ready. So that's going to be it for now for this Grand Arena round. Obviously, we'll be back with the next one. So if you have enjoyed this, obviously, a like and comment is always much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that sub button down below. And I'll catch you in the next one.